Hi, welcome to Kika Tips. I'm your host, Michelangelo Barclay. Well, today, uh, I'm going to be addressing some questions that I've been getting through my email. Uh, this question is as such. What course should I learn? Okay. Two is what kind of course are there? And, and etc. Well, I, I, I would say you should learn from the basic or your open chords. Uh, open chords are those chords that have open strings involved. Um, yeah. And then your next group of chords that you should learn is your bar chords or chords that utilizes all of your fingers. Um, and in fact, uh, today's lesson is geared for uh, intermediate uh, simply because of the, uh, the strumming that we're going to be doing in this one particular song and because of the chords we're going to be utilizing is going to be more bar chords oriented. Alright, so first of all, let me show you the basic bar chord. This would be your C major chord. Now, this is a C, because this is C, and from that, this is A, A sharp, B, C. Now this is a D minor form or a D minor chord. Because if this is C, then this is C sharp, and this would be D. And then this is my G form or G major. Because this is E, F, F sharp, G. And back to C. Now, the song we're going to be learning is called Tears of a Clown. I have this thing about clowns that I like. I, I don't know why. Maybe it, it was from, um, from all the, the carnivals that we, I used to go to when I was a kid. Um, or m maybe it was uh, because uh, this one particular clown traumatized me uh, from watching uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> I, I don't know. But I, I have this fondness for clown now. Uh, anyway, so let's take from the C major. Now notice, if you take it from the open A, this would be your open A. If you move it one up, this would be A sharp, and then one up, this would be B, B major, and this would be C. Now let's take it from the A minor. This is A minor, A sharp minor, B minor, C minor, sharp minor and then D minor so that's the first thing you want to do you just want to practice those two forms to see. 
Alright. So now, let's do the song for real. I love this drumming. One, two, three, four. This Tears of the Clown song has a strumming that's almost clown oriented because I mean it's not clown oriented it, it's, it's actually a very uh, technical strumming but but, but when uh, Roy Orbison goes I close my eyes It's, it's very maniacal. It's, it's, it's very, it's, it's very fun, and yet very deranged. It's, 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 it's everything that's a part of clowns that makes me really want to be a clown. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's the whole song. I kid you not. Now notice my strumming. I'm hitting the bass. Now the bass happens to be on the A string. And then I'm hitting two times. Then I'm hitting my one. See? When I change, it's the same thing. G. Now there's two parts that are slightly different. Uh, the first part is when he goes, uh, I can't help you. And then they, they do three strums. That's the one part. The second part is where they stay where he stays on the C. Now you might be thinking, maybe he's Maybe going to the alpha or maybe G, but but he's not. He's staying only on the C. So those are the two parts. The the, the first part of course is the uh, I can't help you. Da 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 da. The second part is where he just stays on a C. And there you have it. Okay, well my time is it's about nine minutes. Uh, well, if you have any questions. Uh, I will try to address them and let me know if you have any particular horror or a particular melody you want me to figure out. Uh, Halloween is coming up soon. Um, let's see. Yeah, because this is uh, July and in August, September, Halloween. And then, uh, there's no particular uh, holiday uh, music for Thanksgiving, but there is music for Christmas. So, a lot to look forward to. Alright, well this is Michelangelo, and I want to see your name in lights, and practice that song, and learn your chords, and get that strumming. <laughs>